Can dreams come true? Can it happen in real life? Is it just a coincidence if you dream about something and then it happens in real life? Or is there more to it perhaps? Many of you know that I had a vivid dream about winning the lottery a few months prior to winning it in real life. It convinced me that it was going to happen. I believed that I was likely going to win the lottery after this dream because it was so real. I know some people think that's just a coincidence if you dream about something and then it happens in real life. And I've said this before, but if that is you, I completely respect you 100%. I am not here to try and convince anybody of anything. I am just being authentic and sharing my story. But I do find the topic very interesting because in addition to the dream about winning the lottery, I've had dreams my whole life about similar types of dreams about other subjects that have come true. And I'm going to share a couple of them. In fact, one of the most surreal dreams that I have ever had is one that inspired me to create the this YouTube channel. I will talk about that a little towards the end of this video, but dreams can be very, very inspiring. If you can think of it, if you can imagine it, if you can envision it, as crazy as it sounds, oftentimes it can happen in reality. Well, just think about it. This camera that I'm talking into right now, the technology that exists on YouTube for this even to exist, this microphone, the lights, the paint on the wall behind me, these glasses, everything was first imagined by a human being before it was turned into something physical. Imagination is very powerful, as is our intuition. For example, I was getting ready to go on a road trip one day across the country in the United States driving, and the night before I had this very vivid dream that I was in this horrible, horrible car accident. But I did not listen to this dream. I did not listen to my intuition, and I went and I took off on this road trip. Even though I felt weird about it, I didn't necessarily feel safe. I felt like oh that's just nonsense that dream I I'm gonna make it on this trip but then halfway through the trip there was an unexpected thunderstorm and it wasn't forecast or anything I had no idea that it was going to happen I was in the wrong place at the wrong time on the interstate in the middle of a 10 car pileup there was nothing that I could do someone hit me and I hit someone else and it was sort of like a giant sandwich but that's just where my vehicle was. There was literally nothing I could do. I was giving plenty of space. But had I listened to the dream, of course, I wouldn't have been there. Many of you know that I was a journalism student. I studied broadcast news. I went back to college to do this after winning the lottery. And one of our assignments as a journalism student was to read the newspaper, the old fashioned physical newspaper. And I know not everyone, a lot of people don't read the newspaper these days, but it was one of our assignments. And every morning, almost every morning, my newspaper that was in the driveway in front of the house was not there. Someone was taking the newspaper. And so I was livid, I was really upset because I wasn't able to do my assignments. And so one of the nights, I'm a very spiritual person for people that don't know, and I prayed for clarity to understand who was taking the newspaper, why the newspaper was disappearing, and to stop it from disappearing. I asked for this. And that morning, this sounds kind of crazy, but I had this very vivid dream, this out-of-body experience type of dream that I saw this kid coming up to steal the newspaper. And so immediately, it was so real. It was so real, just like the lottery dream and so many other dreams that I've had. It was so real, it convinced me to get up out of bed hours earlier than normal and go outside as the sun was coming up. Here comes this teenager about to grab the newspaper off of the driveway. And so immediately, immediately I went outside and I saw this and this teenager was about to grab the newspaper off the driveway. And I just glared at him and we looked at each other and he never took the newspaper again. But how does that happen? I find it very, very fascinating. And I've interviewed a couple scientists on this channel about quantum physics and time. I will put a link to one of the interviews with scientists that I did right here, but it's very, very interesting how this type of thing is possible from the scientific perspective. But science shows that time is not necessarily how we experience it on this planet from past to present to future. Quantum physics points to the possibility that everything is happening at the same time. So if this is true, is it possible to see what is going to happen in the future or to tap into that if it's all happening at once? 
And speaking of dreams and seeing the future, there's this other dream I had that was pretty crazy. The apartment I was living in at the time, I actually went to sleep. I had this out of body, <laughs> out of body experience. This sounds kind of crazy, but I know some people are into astral projection and that sort of thing. But I had this dream where it felt as if I vibrated that I left my body, but everything in the room looked the same. And I sort of floated or walked, I don't know, I didn't look at my legs, but my consciousness was going down this hallway, everything looked the same, and then there was this staircase there that wasn't normally there in real life, so I was like, this is really, really odd, and this is, you know, what, <laughs> why is this staircase here? So I was curious, so I went up the staircase, and at the top of the staircase was this metal bucket. And I was like, what, wow, what is that metal bucket doing at the top of this staircase? So. I peered into the bucket, I looked into the bucket and I saw this handgun, this handgun. So I reached in, I was going to grab the handgun and right as I was doing that, this giant dog, this black dog comes out of nowhere and starts snarling and barking at me and it startled me. So I forced myself to wake up out of this dream state because of this dog. But Needless to say, a few hours later in that very same day, my roommate at the time came home. He had a new handgun and a new dog that was black and he was training to be a police officer. I was not aware of any of this before he came home other than that dream. So I felt as if, you know, how is that even possible? Was I tapping into the future or the present or what was happening? That sort of thing is extremely, extremely interesting. And it's one of the things I'm doing on this channel is interviewing scientists and experts about how this type of thing is possible. How is this happening? Because I know I'm not the only person. I know this happens to people all around the world. It does. And so I'm a person that listens to my dreams. I can tell there's a difference between ones that I feel have a message and the, just a typical dream that's just imagination. I, I feel it feels different to me. But there is a dream that really, really inspired me to start this YouTube channel. And so I do want to mention that. But the dream I had about starting this YouTube channel, for those of you that are interested, it was about a year or two prior to starting this YouTube channel. I had this this thought in my mind, I had envisioned, I was curious, I was rolling around this idea in my mind of whether I should be interviewing lottery winners because I found it very interesting. I thought, well, you know, I think lottery winners will be more apt to talk to me and so maybe it's a good idea. I've always loved journalism. That's what I went to college for. That's what I've been pursuing in various documentaries and productions and I absolutely am passionate about it. So what if I interview other lottery winners, but I, I was really hesitant. I was like, I don't know, do I really want to put myself out there? Do I really want to do this? Is this a good idea? And so I prayed, and because I'm a very spiritual person, I prayed for guidance, for an answer to know whether this was a good idea. And within it, I had another one of these out of body type of dreams. And within it, I was in line. I had I already had a production that was established and I was in line to interview Conor McGregor. And to me, Conor McGregor at the time, what he represented to me was an extremely wealthy and successful athlete who had overcome the odds in life. And he was going to give me an interview for my show, for my production. So immediately after having this dream, 100%, without any sort of question, I knew that this channel and this podcast and this idea of interviewing other lottery winners and this show was something that I should be pursuing. This dream inspired me. It inspired me. It was so real. It was so real. And I don't know if it's going to be in the literal sense if I'm actually going to interview Conor McGregor or if it's just in the symbolic sense, but I do believe that it was a message, 100%, 100% a message, and it, it inspired me to start this channel. Needless to say, one thing that I did not know about Conor McGregor at the time is that not only is he interesting because he's extremely successful monetarily and that he's overcome the odds in life and he's shot to stardom, but in addition to that, his mindset is extremely, extremely interesting. He has visualized many things and then they have happened. He's spoken about them publicly and then they have happened. And so I have the utmost respect for him and I absolutely 
would love to literally interview him one day as well. But let me know in the comments, have you ever had a dream about something that inspired you to take action? Have you ever had a dream about something and then it's happened in real life? What are your dream stories? I love checking out your comments. There are new videos and interviews coming soon on this channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support.